You might have seen this guy already on one of my social media. This is the Goliath hot end, fully 3D printed. It was 3D printed at a 300% scale, so it's a nice demo. It was on my shelf right there on the wall, so people can see it and I can show people how it's made, how it works, and everything can be uh, disassembled. Everything is 3D printed, every components are screwable, all the screws, the threads are 3D printed, so it's a super cool uh, project that was fun to do. Um, even the sock here is 3D printed, it's uh, TPU so it can be removed, it's flexible. This is TPU as well, so overall a, a very nice project, but I didn't stop there. I also 3D printed a full 300% scale VZ extruder and um, it's a fully functional. By that I mean that all the gears inside can rotate and everything is there just like the official real unit. So now what am I missing? Yeah, I'm missing the entire print head because I thought it would be cool on the wall for people when they come here in my room so they can see the entire thing and I can explain how it works better if I have a representation. So I printed this guy. This is the VZ print head, fully printed, 300% scale. Every components were printed, including these little um, screws there, the bow, so you can assemble it, disassemble it, uh, threads were printed. So it is a very fun, very nice project. I had so much fun doing it, but it's not done yet. I've printed all the rest of the components that will go on the print head, like the fan dock, the, the CPAP dock, everything. So we are ready to assemble the whole thing and put it back on the shelf as a nice presentation. So this is gonna be super fun. So let's just assemble it and do that.
All right, project done. Look at that thing. It is so big. Look at the size of my head compared to that thing. It is huge and it's incredibly awesome. I love it so much. It turned out very, very good. Um, really happy with the result. It was printed with a very, very crappy silk. Um, that silver is one of the crappiest filament I've ever printed with. It's just not printing good, <laughs> but at least it turned out great. It looks very silver or very aluminum, but it's one of the hardest filament I've ever printed with. I don't know why, uh, probably because it's silk and they have added so much stuff in, in that uh, filament that it's hard to print, but anyway, I'm, I'm still happy with the result. Um, the filament is called Surprise, believe it or not. <laughs> That's a strange name for a, a filament brand, Surprise. You, you never know, I guess, what you're going to get. But anyway, I'm very happy with the result. The only issue I have now is it's too big to fit on the shelf right there, unless I put it sideways like that. But I really want the face to be uh, showing. So I'm going to have to either put a bigger shell or uh, find a different place. Maybe replace my... Uh, Terminator arm right there. I don't know, but it's so cool. I'm so happy with the result. I love this thing Crazy crazy. So anyways, I had really a lot of fun doing it making this thing I hope that you could enjoy that video. I tried to share the fun because I had so much fun doing it I hope it was fun to watch so I thank you again for watching this one and I wish you all a very good night because it's Friday night and it's about midnight. I think it's time for a little rum shot before going to bed. And then we're going to see you on the next one. And on this, have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.